Hey there, Bixby developers. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a fresh new feature called Training Evaluation in Bixby Studio. So what is Training Evaluation? Training Evaluation allows you to test your training quickly and efficiently, and allows you to test a large quantity of utterances to see if they are still working as intended. Now, it does this by checking to see if the aligned NL with a goal that you specify matches what Bixby has interpreted and returned. A big benefit of training evaluation is that it helps you keep track of your previous utterances that were working to see if any new additions end up messing them up or affecting them. Now, training evaluation is currently only for top level utterances. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the basics of how to get started with training evaluation, where we will create a testset.nl file. We're gonna add some training evaluations, and then we'll also take a quick look at the training evaluation matrix. The links to all this stuff will be down in the comments below, including the documentation, as well as the capsule that we will be using for this tutorial. So here I have Bixby Studio open with the Space Resorts capsule, and you'll notice that we actually have a new training evaluation button over here on the side. If you give this a click, you can actually click on create test set, and I'm just gonna give this test set a name, mustwork.testset.nl. Just click create, and now we have our test file. So what do we wanna put in this file? We want to put some aligned NL, very similar to these examples that they provided us. So let's go ahead and do that, and we're gonna start by kind of uh, taking a shortcut by simply clicking on training, and we're gonna take a look at the goal, space resort, hashtag all. So if you actually click on one of the trainings, you'll see this button, which is show aligned NL. Give this a click and then you will see the actual aligned NL and you can copy this. And over here on this side, we wanna double click this file to keep it open and you can paste this here. So I'm gonna copy another one as well, just to show you guys what is going on here. And we're gonna paste both of these in. Of course, if you run this test with this training that is you know, explicitly trained on in Bixby, it's going to work 100% of the time. The whole point of training evaluation is to test those variations that a user might actually input. For example, for space resorts, hashtag all for the second one, we wanna do find me some space resorts. And for the first one, uh, you can do find space resorts on a planet like Mercury. That's fine. We can leave Mercury here. That's not really the issue. We're mainly more interested in changing up this part in order to see if these results still end up matching. Now, what are we doing here? Training evaluation is going to run this utterance here. And the whole point of it is to be able to return this goal right here, which is space resort hashtag all. So if it returns the space resort hashtag all, then that means that this test case has been successful. In this case, we have two separate test cases, both testing this one goal. So how do we run it? We click on training hyphen test sets, and we just click on evaluate all. We can see here that these two entries have a 100% accuracy and that there are no mismatches. We did it guys, but really what that means is that these two utterances did indeed successfully return this goal right here, space resorts hashtag all. Now, of course, we're gonna to want to do this for multiple different utterances, multiple different variations, and multiple different goals. So I'm gonna copy and paste a bunch of stuff in here, which is going to be a bunch of additional test cases. Okay, so we've got quite a few utterances now. Let's go ahead and evaluate them and see what happens. So now we actually have a couple of mismatches, and we can see here that this goal here where it's expected to be the space resorts hashtag all actually jumped to the make reservation instead. And we can also see here a second one where the expected one was give me a reservation that has a pool for three people. Instead, it returned a space resort hashtag all. So indeed, we are now seeing that some variations of the utterances that are in the training file aren't returning the expected goal. Now, before we go ahead and fix that, I did want to show you guys this matrix, this training evaluation matrix. Now, all these variables here, I think some of them are pretty intuitive, but if you want a full explanation of all the variables that will be down in the document 
documentation below, which you can actually just click right here. However, um, we can also see that this matrix, you want things to be aligned in essentially, you know, down this column or down the center like this, because that means that the expected goal of cancel commit order ended up being the received goal of cancel commit order. And this matrix can help you identify, especially once you have a lot more test cases in here, kind of a common pattern with what it's failing with. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and actually fix these issues. We can do this by just copying and pasting these additional training examples into the training right here. So let's go ahead and we're going to add and we're going to add this and annotate. And there we go. So we have added this one, show me a resort to hopefully fix this one. And we're going to add this more complex training example as well. Go ahead and click add and annotate. And there we go. So we've added two new trainings. Let's go ahead and compile them. And now we're going to run this and see if it works. There we go. So of course, if you just copy and paste the ones that are failing into it, it's of course going to work now. Uh, and that's the whole point, though, is to add additional training examples as needed to fix the issues here and to hopefully not break any of the previous training examples. So yeah, hopefully this video served as an introduction to training evaluations. It is a very useful tool for testing top level utterances in Bixby Studio. And yeah, that's it.